I'm here to tell you about a great garden plant for the full sun for your home garden using native plants. The plant we're going to talk about today is pale purple coneflower, also known in the scientific community as Echinacea pallida. Pale purple coneflower has a really beautiful flower with long pink petals and then a nice cone in the center which gives it its name of coneflower. The leaves for the pur pale purple coneflower are mostly basil leaves and then the flowering stalk will be the tallest part of the plant which reaches a max height of around three feet. This is a prairie plant when found out in its natural world, so it needs a lot of sun and it can survive very dry conditions. I'm not saying that you should dry it out, but it's drought resistant and disease resistant, which makes it a great durable plant for your garden. There are a lot of native pollinators that use the pale purple cone flower. Uh, long tongued bees, bumblebees, butterflies, skippers, you name it, they're there. A short list of some of the butterflies that utilize the pale purple coneflower are the eastern tiger swallowtail, the black swallowtail, the giant swallowtail, the Baltimore checker spot, only if you're near a fen, silver spotted skippers, and clouded skippers. As I mentioned before, the pale purple coneflower is drought resistant, which makes it an easy low maintenance plant for your garden. The roots of this plant will actually extend up to 7 to 10 feet underground. So that's how it gets access to water if it's not available on the surface. As I mentioned, the pale purple coneflower has a beautiful pink petal bloom to it. It's actually so beautiful that it made it onto our mural here at the Nature Center at Hickory Knolls. Mm -hmm. 